everyone. I know many of you know our guest today because she's a frequent face to our foodie community here at Melissa's. It's Christina, and she has co-written a book called Opa Healthy Breed Cookbook. Um, it came out a couple years ago, but finally I got her on the schedule. You know, to get my schedule takes like six months to a year. We finally got her on, excited to have her, and um, I give it to Christina, and she's going to tell you what uh, feast we are having today. This is actually the first time we've hosted a Greek cookbook. So, Opa. Hi. Thank you, Robert, and thank you to all the chefs who made this beautiful feast. I always say my food tastes better when I don't have to cook it for myself, so I'm excited <laughs> for you all to eat this, and I hope you some as well. Um, on the menu today, we're doing, so Opa the Healthy Greek Cookbook is your modern Greek cookbook, I would say. Greek food has always been healthy, so we didn't change anything about that. But you, I would say that most of the Greek cookbooks you have on, our, on your shelves are traditional recipes that our parents and grandparents brought over in the diaspora. But this book represents kind of how we eat today. And we don't eat today how we ate in the 50s, I don't think. Some things might be the same, but a lot of things are different. So what you have are recipes that are rooted in tradition, some very traditional, like the chicken kampama over there, and then some more modern, like the avocado scorgolia. After Greece ascended into the European Union, um, they had access to more produce, and avocados weren't there before then, and now they're grown all over Greece, and Greek people are very much embracing them. So we're going to eat the avocado scorgolia. This is a traditional Greek um, fiery feta dip. And it's really great. I love Melissa's, um, the red bell peppers, because all you have to do is drain them and then put them in, and it's hardly, you don't have to like roast your own peppers. It's so easy to make. These are kolokithok of devis, which are, is basically a zucchini patty. Traditionally, they are fried, but for the healthy Greek cookbook, we decided to bake them instead. This is my favorite salad. It's an arugula, fennel, pomegranate, and citrus salad. This is a traditional Greek village salad, a horiatiki salata. And then this is one of my favorite dishes. It's um, shrimp santorini or shrimp saganaki. Um, it's um, um, roasted um, onions and tomatoes and feta cheese with shrimp on top. And then this is the kampama. It's um, a spiced um, chicken and a, and a tomato sauce with um, some carrots and celery. I think you're really going to like that. Um, for the dessert, last but certainly not least, um, Theo, my co-author, she wrote the dessert chapter. I wrote the pasta chapter. Everything else we pretty much split equally. But this is her zucchini lemon olive oil cake, which I know you guys are going to love. It's one of my favorite desserts to make out of the cookbook. And these are kunamiedis. They're Greek shortbread cookies with powdered sugar. Very traditional, very lovely. Um, Theo owns a wonderful business up in Los Olivos called Global Gardens. And she cultivates olives for olive oil. So you'll find that most of the desserts in Opa, they have olive oil instead of butter. And then as a special treat for you guys today, I made my own baklava, which is actually my mother-in-law's recipe. My husband, Alex, is here today. We're actually celebrating our fourth wedding anniversary. <laughs> so last night, I made her baklava. And I actually used the Thermomix to make the baklava syrup for it, because Thermomix makes everything so easy to do. So, I hope you guys enjoy everything, and I hope you sign books. Okay, well, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming today. Today, our guest is our longtime foodie friend here in Southern California, uh, Christina Exenos. Did I say right? finally. Okay, I always get names wrong. Sorry about that. Well, we are here to, to uh, celebrate her cookbook, Op Opa, a uh, healthy Greek cookbook. But let me tell you a little bit about Christina. Um, Christina, uh, Christina, Christina is a professional chef, cookbook author, and journalist based here in Los Angeles. I think she resides in Pasadena. Her company is Sweet Greek Professional Chef Services, tantalizing palates throughout the city with full culinary services, cooking classes, and Greek themed pop-up dining experience. You should share some of the ones that you have coming up during your presentation. Yes. Um, and which she has been featured in my food and wine magazines and some other outlet publications as well. Um, she is one of uh, five members of the prestigious La Dame de Scofier, 
uh, who was a featured chef uh, and the first lady of Greek cuisine, where she gave it a dinner um, of the cuisine of the southern Aegean islands um, at the James Beard House uh, last year in the spring. That's pretty cool. And she was also featured as a culinary expert on the Cooking Channel's television show program, Food uh, Fact or Fiction, if you've ever seen that. Uh, also, let's see here, um, she is a journalist and has worked as a travel uh, correspondent for Forbes Travel Guide and, an, and an on, on, as an online editor for the SoCalPulse.com in Southern California for over 10 years, documenting the thriving restaurant scene in and around Los Angeles. She continues to write for a suite of their publications and also uh, freelances food and travel pieces for a number of publications. But as, as you know her as coming uh, here to Melissa's many times and supporting our local foodie community to share her passion of Greek cooking, and she'll be, she's going to give you a little bit of background uh, because she's a frequent uh, flyer to the Greek islands and Crete and whatnot. Um, our guest, and happy to have her here, and the first time we've actually hosted a Greek cookbook, uh, Christina. Um, we both grew up in Dayton, Ohio. When I was writing this cookbook, I, well, when I was writing my recipes for this cookbook, I wanted to create them thinking of my family in Chicago and in Ohio, and I wanted to create my um, recipes with the ingredients that were accessible to them. Um, times have changed. We don't have a lot of time anymore to spend, you know, three or five hours in the kitchen making re one recipe. So for the recipes that I created, I wanted to streamline them a little bit so people would have time to cook because I really want people to start cooking and, and, you know, I mean, takeout's great, but we want to cook healthy. We want to cook for our families. So that's kind of my philosophy behind the recipes that I created for the cookbook. <laughs> 